Hi y'all, so I just got two new 5D paintings in and as I forgot to show you me opening the wolf one because I really want to go on it, I thought I'd remember to actually show you these ones while I open them. So, um, this one's another one for Ever Moment, it was actually supposed to arrive when the wolf one did but they came separately for some reason. And this one is actually from who can or something? They're both AliExpress, but this one's my custom one, so I can't wait to see what this one turns out like. So we're going to leave that one to last and get started on this one. Which comes with a very pretty ribbon. I'm going to have to slide it off because it's a knot. And I will get that knot out because I save all my ribbons and I reuse them. So it's come in a nice tube and as you can see, it's got this switch and slide it out. If I can get it out, that would be a good start, wouldn't it? Why is it not coming out? I'm guessing because the box has been a little squished, but we'll get that. There we go, it's coming. There we go. So, obviously we've got a canvas, which we'll show you, and we've got our beads. So, some of our beads, which has come in this lovely little zipper bag. So, these have come like previous ones I've had in these separate bags that we just tear off. It's not focusing, but I hope you get to see them. It looks like it's just one long leap level of them. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a few loose ones there. You see, so... Yeah. So they are separate. What it is, is the longer ones are multiple of that same colour. So they're all the same ones. And... These two are the same ones. A bit hard to see that colour, isn't it? Right, there's quite a lot. This is going to be awesome. So many of them. I don't know if this DMC colour sure. Oh, it is. So these are all DMC colours, which is great, because that means when I am um, finished with these, I can put any matching colours in with the ones I've already got. So I'm just going to pop these all back in so that we can not lose any. Don't want to lose them, do we? There's so many. This is going to take a while to do. This one is possibly my biggest one. Um, that's not in need. The point is just to get them out of the way for the minute. <laughs> this is why they're packed neatly. So that they will fit. And I don't recommend just shoving them in like I have because they don't all fit. But I know it says on here what size. Um, so this is a 30 by 60 centimetre one. So it's it's not a bad size. So let's oh one behind. <laughs> okay, so if we just roll it. Oh, oh my little free gift. Aren't they pretty? I normally end up giving Maliki the little free gifts, so he's got some new ones. And then we got the bag with it's got the late sticky labels and a lot of the little bags. Mali, there you go. You can have the free gift. Thank you. So that's quite good. And then also inside it. So we've got the next set and I do like Emma Moment and the way there's comes because this tray I find much better. So in it we've got this type of tray which makes it so much easier for packing away the other type, the green ones, a little more complicated getting them packed into the bag so I really like this type of tray. Um, and again we've got your drill pen and this one again is double sided so we've got longest but what it comes with is an extra piece so you've got that one can give it the focus 
see, so punch that one, but you can take that one off and put this one on, and you have a different piece when it focuses. Isn't that fun trying to get it to focus on something? And it focuses on the opposite thing. There we go. But okay, so that's quite good. It's got the gripper again, which I really like. Um, it came with two lots of the wax to put it on with. And again, these are double the size of the ones that I used to get from Amazon. Um, and you get two of them. So that's fantastic. I've got loads of this stuff now. And then you get a lovely pair of tweezers. These ones actually say Ever Moment on them. Um, if that'll focus. That may be upside down for you for all I know. I'm not entirely sure. Really sorry if it is. Um, and then they got a nice sharp point on them. Um, this is my second pair of these and I have to say they work really well. So that comes in. Again, I'm really sorry if all this is upside down. I will attempt to make sure it's up the right way for you, but I never quite remember which way around my camera records. <laughs> over there so you can see this is the picture that we should be doing so we have the sheet that they like to do with this has everything you need on it so um, we've got the amount of colors and so on this one there's 29 colors I'm not sure if you can see this and then this go on here this one shows the symbols that's going to be on the um, board to use. This is the DMC number. And this line here, this one tells you how many of them you need or have. I've never worked out whether it tells you how many you need or how many you have. But it does one of them. <laughs> Grace on Hubie Multi. She'll be able to tell you better than me. She knows. But, so. Unroll this one. Okay, so I'm just going to roll it back the other way so that we can attempt to get it to lie flat. This is not an easy task because I love a lot of room and it keeps one in the screen. But hopefully, I'm almost there. Okay, so hopefully that should be enough to have it laid flat. There we go. Okay, so. As you can see, so. That's the half, so it's twice the length of that. So from there, this point here, it goes all the way along to there. So it is quite a long one. Um, and it does come with its sections these are two separate pieces if I just tear that you can see so that's going to make it easier when working with it and this is the top but isn't this pretty what I'll do is I'll go back on this side and then you can hopefully see closer up what Okay, if I can zoom in a bit for you. That's as far as I can go with this camera because I haven't got the other lens on, but hopefully you can see it has all the different symbols. Like here, we have J for the blue, and we have some K's and T's in among here. And here is, I refer to them as a stop sign. It's a circle with a um, line going in the middle of it. So, you know, each one is clearly wrote. So, and it's a really clear print, so it's really nice. So, even though there's a large amount here, I can actually see them easy enough, which is really good because it's something I do struggle with. So just lay that one down, and I'm just going to peel back these sides so that we can get them looking a little straighter. But there's the other side of that. Let's go back out again a bit for you so you can hopefully see a bit more. So. T. 
in this one, get the wrinkles out of this one. Getting the wrinkles out doing this helps it lay a bit flatter. If you had a bigger table to lay it out properly it would be even better. But hopefully you can see the pattern, it's really pretty isn't it? There we go. So here's the picture and the list down here. And I think it's going to look wonderful, I'm so excited about getting this one done. I'm not going to roll it up, I'm going to keep it flat and then pop it to the side and then that way it should hopefully stay flat. So that's the first one which as I said is this butterfly. So now it's time for my custom one, which I'm really excited about. I can't actually remember what size I ordered. I sent them the picture I wanted, and they told me what size I should have. So I trusted them. There we go. That's okay. So... We got similar to Emma moments on the. I think this one, I think, is actually slightly smaller than Emma moments, is it? Nope, it is the same size. So, same type of tray from Who Can as you got from Emma moments. And same type of pen, but this one is actually. Oh, it's glittery. It's actually see through glittery. I don't know if that's going to focus because it is completely see-through. But okay, so you've got the ends on it like you normally would, and again, it's come with. Uh, put it on. It's came with a longer one as well. Which, if you're wondering what these bits are, is if you've got a load of the same colour in a row, you can put the wax in there, and you can actually put a load down at the same time, so it makes quicker work. I don't use that often, but every so often I do. And then we've got these waxes again. We've got two. These are almost see-through, so these are a very different wax than I'm used to getting. But they look cool. The other ones I normally get are much thicker. I mean, I don't know if you can see. Can you see just how see-through they are? But I'm sure they will do the job just fine. And then. Obviously, we've got tweezers and these ones because it's from Who Can. If we can show you that. There we go. So I've got this set from, so let's put that set away. Okay, and then finally opening to the colours, which Again, we've got quite a lot of. Okay, so these ones come, sorry about the fly, come in their own already sectioned off, labelled and bags. So that's cool, so that means I'm not going to have to do that. But I mean, just how many of this colour am I using? Wow! <laughs> that's the um, biggest bag I've seen of my colours yet. But there's a lot of different ones. They've got some really gorgeous colours and they've really broke down the pinks and things. So I think this is going to look beautiful when done. They've really broke down the colours across the um, spectrum for this picture. I'm actually really excited for this one. So let's unravel. Sorry about any rustling you lot here, but. As most of you would know, these things come well wrapped and um, well cared for, which I really like. Be careful when using scissors because you don't want to cut the actual canvas, so use it to bare minimum. I'm just trying to pull it off. Oh, and it's stuck again. Let's go from the other side, shall we? Sorry if half of this is off camera, but the angle I have to put the camera so you can actually see down results in a section of it being cut off. There we go. 
and we've got a little bit of tape just across here holding it in place so let's see if we can find the end to take that off that's there I think okay. you just hate it when you peel something and only part of the tape comes away I just wonder if I can get my scissors just slightly under. There we go. There we go, that's off. Much better. Okay, so this is the picture. I sent them. It's not a brilliant picture, it's one of mine that I took a long time ago that I wanted a test piece. Um, but I think it's really quite pretty. So, has 49 colours. It says down here we've got 49 colours. And again, obviously, it's got the DMC numbers and the symbols and the quantity. Um, some of these are rather large quantities. Um, that bag, that big bag I showed you looks like it's 4,015 wow that's a lot okay so let's see if we can unravel this on camera it's a bit difficult to show it all I think so if I can show you it's come with a little tube so that there's no creases so we're going to try to use that to bend this the other way around to um, unroll it Sorry if this is not 100% on camera, this is not an easy task when we're doing larger ones. I can see as I'm rolling this that it also, like most big ones, does have the separate strips. So that's quite cool. So, there we go. Better. Okay, this is huge and I'm not entirely sure I'm going to get this all on camera because there's not enough room. <laughs> so let's just put part of it on camera. Um, so up here you can see you've got the few cans where I got it from. So let's have a look, shall we? So as I said, they are in strips. So I pull this one back, you can see. This is the top strip, this bit is the very top of the canvas. And pull that back. So, that does look pretty. You're probably not going to see much what it is, but I know what colours they are, so I know things. Let's just pull these up and lay them down. So what you're seeing here is the top of one of the petals. Do the next one, which I think you can still see that. So here we go. So now you can really see in the middle of the water lily. So isn't that pretty? Again, let's just lay this down. Do the other side. If you can see that from the reflection, but it is the other side. Okay, so let's turn this around and do two this way. And this is the bottom of the picture, so you can really see where the white from that's going to come in. It's lovely, isn't it? Doing this stroking it out really does help. And as I said, this is something I learnt off of Grace from GB Maltese. So if you don't follow her, do pop over and check her out because she has some really good hints and tips on um, how to work her 5D painting. Yeah, 
I can really see it coming through there, isn't that pretty? There's actually one more strip bangs back in the middle, so I'm gonna have to just pop this under the tripod a second so that you can see the middle strip. Um, try not to pick up and rip it like I just did, it's not the best move. That user there has nothing to do with the um, image. Okay. So here you can really see where the yellow is going to come in. What I will do is try to get full length pictures to add in um, of how big these are. Hopefully you've at least seen roughly what is in them. And they're not too badly creased considering the size of them. There's, it's not bad at all. Um, so let's just see if I can pull this back out without knocking the camera too much. So it is quite a big size, but this is the picture, and I think it's going to be lovely. <laughs> 